Welcome to Marvelous Designer tutorial series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to quickly create a garment using the modular configurator. You will also learn how to dress different size avatars. Let's look into the modular configurator. For those using 9.5 and up, we have grouped more tools for a cleaner user interface. Please, long press the left mouse button on the tool to view a list of all the tools in the tool group. Open Library Window by clicking Library tab to import Avatar. Open Avatar Folder by double-clicking and go to Female B Avatar Folder at the bottom. Then double-click Female B Avatar File to import. To utilize Modular Configurator Garments, need to change Avatar Pose to Attention Pose. To do so, double-click Attention Pose Folder which is located under Avatar Folder. There are two options for importing pose. Pose only, main avatar size, only reflects the joint rotation value, not the position value. Pose and joint translation reflects the joint rotation and position values. For now, I will use pose only. Click OK. Click on the modular configurator tab on the left to open the modular configurator outfit. If you look at the top folder view window, there are two folders, man and woman. You can open the folder by double-clicking it like in the library window. The subfolders on the man and woman folders are organized by garment type. I'm going to open the jackets folder by double-click. There are two styles in the jackets folder, double and single. If you double-click on a double style thumbnail, you could check the pieces of that garment below. These pieces are called blocks. When mouse over a block thumbnail, a scroll bar appears at the bottom of each thumbnail line. When importing blocks, double click to import them, like when you open a file. If you load more than one block, the gray block boxes containing the block will appear in the pattern window. I will open the jacket front blocks by double clicking on other styles. These front blocks have different shape of collars. Let's load the back block this time. The blocks on the back have vents on different positions. Next, we will load the sleeve block. After loading blocks, each block will be automatically sewn. With Modular Configurator, you can quickly create multiple garments. If you double click the dot 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 at the top folder view window, you can move to the parent folder. Now that you've completed the garment combination, let's close the Modular Configurator window. Modular Configurator garments are designed for Marvelous Designer's avatar size, so it's not going to be the perfect fit for your custom avatar, so let's see how you can adjust the Modular Configurator garment to your avatar. First open the library window and load a different size avatar. You can test it with your custom avatar. This avatar is shorter than the default avatar and has a larger circumference. We will use the gizmo to reposition the garment around the avatar. Place patterns around the avatar's body so that the garment does not pass through the avatar's body. If the pattern is not visible in the 3D window, you can select it in the 2D window and use the gizmo to reposition the pattern.
simulate when the patterns are well placed. Use your mouse to pick and adjust areas that aren't working well. During simulation, it is often the case that a button penetrates into a garment or the button is twisted with a pattern. At the moment, the button is in the garment. In this case, you can use the Reset 3D Position menu by selecting the button in 2D with the Edit Button tool. Now let's adjust the garment to make it fit to the avatar. First, select the entire pattern using Ctrl plus A or drag. Use the Shrinkage Weft Percentage menu in the Properties window to increase or decrease the 3D garment. A value of 100 means 100% size. Let's increase the width by entering 110. Simulate the numerical input. In the 3D window, you can see that the garment has grown by the amount you entered. The shrinkage menu can be used with the simulator on, so let's enter 115 again while the simulation is on. The horizontal size of the garment seems to fit well. Since the avatar is shorter than the default avatar, this time we will reduce the shrinkage wrap percentage to 95. The length also looks good now. Change the garment rendering style to check avatar's body and whether garment fits well. Select Transparent Service Alt plus 4 from the 3D Garment Rendering Style on the left side of the 3D window. The garment becomes translucent, and you can check the gap between the garment and the avatar body. This rendering style is often used to check the simulation status inside the garment. The 3D Garment Rendering Style hotkey is a combination of Alt plus Number, Textured Surface Alt plus 2, and Thick Textured Surface Alt plus 1, Transparent Surface Alt plus 4. The shoulders of the garment seem to be a bit oversized, so let's shorten the length of the shoulders. In the 2D window, click the endpoint of the shoulder with the Edit Pattern tool. Hold down the Control key and drag. Right-click to display the Moving Distance pop-up window. If you press Control and move a point or segment, you can move it in the direction of the existing point in line. Enter 15. The reason for entering the values is to make the movement length of the front and back patterns the same. Reduces the length of the back pattern shoulders by 15 millimeters. Change the 3D garment rendering style to Thick Textured Surface, Alt plus 1. In case of textured surface, normal in the back direction will be displayed darker color. This can be inconvenient when checking the clothing style. Thick textured surface shows normal in the back direction as the same as front side. With modular configurator, shrinkage menu, and simple point location modifications, we can complete the jacket for a custom avatar. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more. If you have any questions about getting started in Marvelous Designer or this lesson, please leave a comment below, and we will do our best to answer your question. If you want more information on and where to get Marvelous Designer, check out our website, forum, and official Discord channel in the link below.